Hello and welcome to WePC. My name is Jay and today I'll be talking to you about RAM speeds and if it matters for gaming. Is higher RAM speeds better for gaming? Is higher RAM frequency better in general? And what's the best RAM speed overall? These are the questions we get all the time and it's what we're going to address in this video. So let's get into it. Now, before we get started, if you head to the description of this video, then you'll find a link to our full article on this subject. I'll be talking about key points in this video relating to just RAM speeds, but if you do want more in-depth information, then be sure to visit that article. So RAM frequency works off of clock cycles. Each read and write is done on a cycle. RAM is measured by how many cycles per second it can perform. So for example, if RAM is rated at 3200 megahertz, it performs 3.2 billion cycles per second. The more cycles your RAM can perform per second translates to how much data can be stored and read, which makes for smoother user experiences. There's usually a direct correlation between higher DDR, which stands for double data rate RAM, and the clock cycles those modules accommodate. This can easily be seen when you compare DDR3, DDR4, and now DDR5. Column access strobe, or we're going to call it CAS, latency or CL is the delay time of your RAM receiving a command and then being able to issue it. The numbers for the timings will look something like this, 15, 17, 17, 35. Those numbers indicate how many clock cycles it takes for RAM to respond to the command. Stay with me. You know it's complicated, but we'll get there. Don't worry. So this is where it can be a little confusing, but let's try and simplify that data just a little bit more. Finding the real speed of your RAM comes down to a couple of factors and has been embodied in a handy little formula. However, before I show you the formula, let's understand the different factors to consider when finding your RAM speed. The first factor is the RAM clock speed. Let's take 3200 megahertz as an example. And the next factor relates to what RAM you have. For example, DDR transfers data on both sides of the clock cycle, meaning it transfers data twice in one cycle. And then lastly, we have our RAM CL timing, which is the first of the four numbers that make up the RAM timing. So we'll use 14, 15, 15, 39 for this example. Are you still with me? Yeah, okay, good. So those are the factors. So let's put them into an equation to work out the exact RAM speed. So do you need the fastest RAM speed? For the majority of us, the answer is no. And there are actual sweet spots to consider that largely depend on the CPU in your build. We found that generally RAM kits with tighter timings can improve FPS in some games. And while the improvement isn't quite as good as a GPU upgrade, it is still worth noting. Regardless, if you've gone for AMD or Intel, RAM kits in the 3200 to 3600 megahertz range will serve you well. If you find yourself in a position where you are unsure to go for 8 gigabyte of faster RAM or 16 gigabytes, you should always opt for the 16 gigabytes, especially if you are a price conscious gamer. I mean, sure, if you can afford it, then grabbing a 16 gig plus kit with fast speeds will have obvious benefits, but RAM speed is only really relevant at the high end where small performance gains are important. Okay, so we figured out what RAM speeds are how they work, and even how they affect your system. But how does RAM speed impact gaming? So here are the specs of the testing rig that we used. Using this setup, we ran six separate tests using eight different speeds and timing combinations. Testing a range of RAM capacities, timings, and speeds will help give us a larger pool of information for both high-end and budget builds alike. And the first game we decided to run was CSGO. We went for Counter-Strike as we knew it was a CPU-intensive game and thought we'd see a variance in FPS across the different speeds and timings. However, as you'll soon see from the results, there was almost no difference across the entire range of tests that we ran. The next game we ran was Far Cry 5. And we were much happy with the result of this test due to the fact that we, you know, saw a difference. <laughs> we then decided to do a second test in ultra settings to see if the difference was greater than our original in-game settings. And you can see them here. So we then tried Witcher 3. Like Far Cry 5, we decided to run a second test in ultra settings for the Witcher 3. And we used the same two round configurations as Far Cry. And to no one's surprise, the results were as expected. We finished by running 3D Mark Time Spy to see if different configurations had any difference here. So there are all the general speeds that I've just shown on screen. But we're going to ask the big question now surrounding RAM speeds which speed should I get? Now, it's not an easy question to ask, as I suppose it kind of depends on the number of different factors that you are going to go for. As far as gaming is concerned, the most important component that affects frame rate is your GPU. And ultimately, this is what's going to determine if you're going to get that 140 plus FPS in AAA titles. And it also determine what resolution and settings you'll be able to push as well. Having said that, as you can see from the data that I've just showed, getting the right RAM kit can make a huge difference. Before we talk about the differences, let's quickly brush over where RAM doesn't seem to make a difference in performance. The 3D Mark Time Spy test seemed to showcase very little to no effect when under different RAM speeds or timings. And also CSGO was also unaffected by differing configurations. But where you will see RAM speeds benefit you, however, is the newer titles from the last few years. Every other game we tested showcased the same increase in performance across the board. Interestingly, we saw a dip in performance when reaching 3800MHz. The bottom line is, tighter timings are better than faster speeds. 
It is also worth mentioning that better speeds and timing configurations are going to make multitasking scenarios much more accessible. So let's summarize. The clear pattern in all of our tests were found within the tighter times. By tightening the times, you improve FPS across most of the games exponentially. Well, I say exponentially. I mean, you'd still probably be better off paying the extra cash towards a new GPU. But for those who already have a top of the line card, this is certainly a way of squeezing extra performance out of your glorious build. This might spark some speculation, but from our results, the best way to maximize in-game performance from your RAM is to purchase a 3200 megahertz kit and tighten the timings right down. You'll also save a decent amount of money by opting for the 3200 megahertz over 3600 megahertz. And once you've tuned in the timings, the difference just isn't that wide. If you just can't be bothered messing with the timings and you're not going to do that and just use your RAM straight out of the box, then I definitely recommend getting the cheapest 3000 megahertz kit that you can find. Cause all the tests suggested that out of the box speeds made very little difference anyway. Now I'm currently running 16 gigabytes of 3600 megahertz RAM for my personal gaming computer and it never misses a beat. Whether I'm playing one of the latest AAA game titles or editing videos like this, 16 gigabytes is more than enough to keep my system running at optimal levels. So there you have it guys. I hope I've shed a little bit of light on RAM speeds and what they do and which one's best for gaming. If you do have any further questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Also, as I've mentioned, we do have an article that goes into this subject in more detail in the description down below. So definitely hit that if you're still a little bit confused. But if you did find it helpful, I would love if you could leave a like on the video, subscribe if you are new to the channel. And if you hit this thing over here, that'll take you to another one of our videos that I know you will enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Decent. Thumbnails.